Hello, this is Carlos with a K, and this is a preview of No Moria. I've been playing this game for a while, and I'm considering making a series of it. So far, I have two different, different side games here. The, this is the one I've been playing on lately. For those of you who, who, may, who might not know, this game is a bit, just a bit similar to Craft the World, but from an from an isometric perspective. But it's not just mining and and crafting items and fighting monsters. You have to take care of other things. For example, you don't just cut down trees. You have to. You can plant them, you can take fruit from them without cutting them. You can also cultivate a few things like cotton, strawberries, and other other things you'll get later on. You can also make pastures for for animals. Right now I have jacks. Jacks provide us with milk as well. And the animals do reproduce. We also have different kinds of trees. We have pines, we have birch trees. Down here we have a lake with a well. <coughs> and as, I can, as you can see, I always prefer digging my base into a mountain rather than building one outside. I think it's a bit more efficient. Also, we have our stockpiles, so we can choose what to store in them. For example, this one has signed some goods, food, drink, body parts, sounds strange, but yes, when you kill animals, that's where they go, to the body parts. We also have another storage over here, I can also assign what to store there, I decided to store soil, stone, wood, coal, metal, jam, cough, whatnot, but I do not store food, nor drink, nor body parts. So why did I do this? Well, the stockpile is next to the kitchen, where we have the butcher shop. Those... Those take apart animals that I kill. And the kitchen, we can do things with food, such as loaf of bread, sandwiches, cheese. Cheese requires milk. And... What else in... Oh, the brewery. The distillery. Right now we are brewing wine from any fruit, so we get strawberry wine or apple wine. There are no way we could get any grapes, but that's what we have for now. Also, I'm cultivating wheat, and with wheat, I'm feeding this jacks. What else is over here? We have the carpenter. Right now he's working on this and a table, we can make beds, torches, and we have a, a crude workbench, we can make simple stuff like planks, chisels, chairs, and over here we're building a furnace. The furnace what furnaces do is turn wood into coal. We will need coal. And right here we have a sawmill. The sawmill can make plants out of out of logs. And what else? Stone mason. This one works with any stone. We can make Tables made of stone, chairs, saw blades, knife blades, knives, molds, furnaces, stone swords, stone hand axe, stone hammer, and whatnot. Here we have we assign a dormitory. We can label anything here with designate area, and we assign that as a dormitory. Dwar um, these are not dwarfs. These are gnomes. The gnomes will, when they get sleepy, they go here and they go to their wheat straw beds. I will get better beds later. And this here, this is a great hole. This is where they eat their food. 
and it, it attracts visitors. Right now, I don't have much in here because I'm giving priority to the tools I need for building stuff. But later on, I'll make some some better floor in here. Perhaps some decorations, tables, chairs, so they will feel more comfortable. And let's see. Oh, the mining. Yes. As you can see, there's there's a black area over here. That means that means it's underground, and we cannot see what's what's here. Right now we're at depth two, and we can go up a level. As you can see, I can no longer see inside where the gnomes are at. And you can see a, a grove I, I assigned here, a birch grove. In here, we are planting birch trees. We can cut their clippings, we, we can fell the trees to get wood, and we plant saplings. Always make sure to cut clippings so that you can plant saplings. And we have some apples over here. Over here there are some... Down here there are orange trees. We go another level. And we can see the top of the mountain. As for here, same here. Other than that, we can go down <coughs> underground. As you can see, I have some ladders here. It's some exploration. We're going down a few levels. And here we have some stone. Also here we have some... Some copper. Let's see. How can I see that? Maybe... I don't know. I can't see it. But anyway, that that red fin over there is copper. And over here, we have some tin. With tin and copper I can make bronze, which will be very useful for armor and weapons. And that's... I went down to level minus 8. Let's go back up. And... There are things on building, and building a bone carver. It crafts things out of bone, and it's waiting for a table, a chair, and a knife, which are being crafted. And what else? Ah, and the furnace, which I already showed. We can build a lot of stuff here. Let's see. I'll show little by little what you can do. You can mine a wall. You can mine. You can make stairs that go up or a ramp, or you can dig a hole or stairs down, which I use a lot, or a ramp down. I can remove floors, I can remove a ramp, I can replace a wall with a new one. I can replace floors, which I'm gonna do here. Let's see, like, um, block stone, stone floor, or I could, I could use the decorative stone floor using any block. I'm out of this block, so I should should dig for more of those and perhaps replace the floor here. And what else? I can build workshops. Uh, workshops that work with wood or with stone or with cloth. Everything that has to do with food and drink or gem cutter, jewelers, metal working. Um, we already discussed what the furnace for. We have the forge, we can melt raw metal into bars. Or the smelter that turns metal items back into bars. There's also the blacksmith that can make tools. There's the metal worker that can make trinkets and statues. Those... Those are mostly used for, for trading. There's this weaponsmith and the armor. We can designate plenty of areas here. We have the farms. Underground farm, I'm not making those yet. We can make personal quarters. That's for individual gnomes. We have the dormitory, which we already made. Dining room. I have the great hall in this place. 
and the hospital. That's where our injured gnomes go to heal, to get healed. Guard area. Well, if you want to place guarded, possibly the entrance. That's where you assign it to. I can deconstruct fins, I can order them to clear the f clean the floor, although they do it automatically. And I can remove designations. That's... That's sort of about it. As you can see, I have paused the game. That's a good thing as well. Because otherwise, the game would run on its own and things won't get done unless I assign them to do. Let's see what else we have here. The general overview of the kingdom. We have a population of 9, nine gnomes, 8 workshops, 3 farms and 1 pasture. We have the worth of, of the fins we have in stock and also of the constructions for a total worth of 2350. Diplomacy... Well... Plotted then. When did this happen? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't notice that happen, so I will soon invite their ambassador and you need a nice place for them to, to stay at. We'll work on that later. And there are the workshops. Six out of eight are idle. The farms. How many seeds are planted? Crops that are ready. Well, we have a cotton farm there. Pastures. We have one male and one female in that pasture. Up to seven animals that fit in there. And the rooms, the dormitory, and the great hall. As for stocks, here we can see what we have 260 foot units of food, 93 units of drink, one weapon, two armor. That's a helmet and a breastplate, if I'm not mistaken. They're made of copper. Furniture, we don't have any yet. Storage containers, well, none available during use. We have our stockpiles, our items, we can go for them, soil for example, how much dirt and clay, stone, a rust on. Oh, I have rust stone, okay. Armor, let's see. Yes, one helmet and one breastplate. Breastplate, it's made of copper. And I didn't start tracking, I could, as you can see on the upper left corner, you can see I'm tracking food and drink. Here they are, food and drink. I can track any other there in here. Uh, whichever I want, doesn't matter. You can use it for whatever you want. We can see our population here. How many miners, masons, stone carvers, woodcutters we have. As you can see, we don't have anyone assigned to to metalworking, nor jewels. We have two medics, nine howlers. We can assign um, professions to each of our dwarves. We can also see their stats. You can see their health, equipment, skills. There's a lot of skills here, a lot of numbers. The profession, which uniform, which thing to give priority, and uh, the things they can do. This one, this one has construction on Howland, and let's see, let's go back. You can assign them here to another profession. You can see what they're doing, or not doing. We can see the professions. Um, with professions, you assign jobs they can do. Right now the miner, I assign them an extra... I assign them for, for being a medic and caretaking. Just because I don't have anyone, anyone dedicated to, to medicine. 
So in the meantime, the miners will do it whenever someone in is injured, which doesn't happen all the time, so it doesn't really matter. I just need someone to do that job. You can also assign a new job, give it whatever name you want, and assign a few, a few things they can do. This is, we haven't lost any gnomes yet. If you lose a gnome, it's dead, it's gone forever. And that's that's about it for population military. Right now I don't have any squad. Enemy squad. I could make a new squad and assign some some gnomes to it. But I'm not doing that yet. You assign formations. You can tell them to perform attack orders. You can tell them to defend other gnomes or to avoid enemies. As for positions, this has a lot a lot to do with their behavior. They pursue less targets. I'm not sure I want to do that one. They can maintain a distance, at least their maximum range of the weapon they're equipping. Retreat if bleeding, very important. They can bleed out and die. Retreat to equip uniform. If one of their if their armor is broken, they, they can retreat and equip a new one if you have one ready. ready. To refill ammo, we're not going to use that in a very long time. And assist the squad leader. If the squad leader charges uh, an enemy, they charge it as well. Uniforms. Here you can assign what uniform they will, they will use. Can be any or one in specific. And this, oh, okay. And this is the quality of the of the equipment. For now, they shouldn't be too picky. We're just getting started. So, what am I planning to do? I'm gonna keep playing around a bit, getting to know the game better, and. And we can start a new game, not this one I'm, I'm working on. This is just for my learning process. And this one, I will go through it as fast as I can. As for series, yes, I'm planning on making some series about this. Let me know if you're interested, leave a comment. And if you are interested, I will make a new series about this game. And, and I'll start from right from the beginning. Just so that you see how, how to get started here and how we will be progressing on this game. So, there's a few minutes left, so I will put this on play. Oh, there's, there's another thing I forgot to mention. We're on the sixth day of spring, on the first year. This game, this game has four stations in the year. Spring, summer, autumn, or fall, however you want to call it, and winter. During winter, your crops do not grow, so you better make sure you stock up a lot. You stock up a lot of food and drink to survive that year, especially food for animals, or they will die out. And during the first, during spring of the first year, you won't be attacked by any enemies, perhaps some rogue animals but no enemies yet. After that, you will start getting visits from... from what enemy was it? I forgot. A goblin, yes, the goblins are the ones that, that start attacking. They will not be armored, but eventually they will get better armor and weapons, so you better get ready as soon as possible. And you also get nomads, they, they add up to your population, and you get more gnomes to work with. Now let's, let's hit play and let's see them in, in action. There we go. We can go at that speed or double speed, and they go at they go a lot faster.
right now. I'm gonna pause it. And... Okay, here's the furnace. So the furnace is done. So what I'm gonna do now is... I'm gonna build torches. Build. I'm a bit lost. Let's go back. Build. Furniture. Okay. I got confused for a while. Torches are treated as furniture for some strange reason. So we will build a torch in here. In each level. Why? Because these areas are dark and they're underground. Right now, during spring, we won't have any trouble at all. But after spring, let's place one here. There we go. And one over here. And one over here. During spring, I won't have any trouble with dark areas. But as time goes by, Dark areas will automatically generate monsters, and you don't want that to happen. And one here. So, you won't have much trouble mining at the start, but try not to go too deep, because you will need torches before spring ends. Not sure if it's after spring or after the first year, not sure which, but that's what you need the furnace for, because torches use wood and coal. So we hit play, and we should see nothing yet. Stone mason, no. Stone cutter, neither. Samuel, nothing has been assigned yet. Oh, there it is. They're making sticks and coal. For the torches. There you go. As you can see, this is the job queue. This is what what's pending to make. It goes automatically here. You can also move up or move down each of the tasks so that you you can control which order they're being made whatever requires more priority and I see craft torches, they're building torches already there we go so that area is now safe from monsters what kind of monsters? well there are columns, skeletons, zombies they're bad and you don't want them spawning in right into your base. So make sure you place those torches before before the end of spring. And you can see he's gathering some fruit. He's taking it inside the stockpile. This one is brewing more drinks. Our drink count is going up. We have 109 now. And that's about all that we will do for this preview episode. Thanks for watching and leave a comment if you want to see a series of this. I will be glad to make them. They're sleeping. Alright, 24 minutes. So we'll cut the episode here. Stay tuned for this series if you want me to make them. And see you next time.